Hello, welcome, Marlene here. Today we're looking at Russian ball tips. And I don't know if you've seen these. These are a new thing. They're, they were the Russian tips to make flowers that were all the rage, and now this is the next thing. And let's look at the differences here. I, I received this kit to show you guys. And if you look here at the end, there's an opening here. This one is, is closed, but it has slits along the side. Now here the slits vary in width, more narrow, a little bit thicker, thicker even and the thickest here. This one is slightly different, whereas this, the slits run straight. This has a bit of like a swirl kind of shape. Here these, the top openings, I did not find that they added anything to the design. And here this one is slightly different. The opening has like a scalloped edge. This one did do something slightly, a slight variation. And so we're gonna test these out. What we're doing now is we're creating a replacement for once we're done piping, we pull this out and we're left with a hole. We wanna fill this with something a little bit decorative. And all I'm doing is I'm creating a little mound of buttercream, like so. And then I can dunk that into the sanding sugar and that'll adhere to the buttercream. And it won't be so hard when you bite into it, like putting a candy or something on a cupcake. I find that unpleasant. When you're biting a cupcake, it should be nice and soft. You shouldn't hit a rock as you're biting through your buttercream. And if you squish it a little bit too much, you can kind of reshape it with your fingers like this. Now, once you've got them all done, you can actually put them in the freezer so that you'll be able to actually touch them and handle them and place them on the cupcake. And there I have all my little rounds and I'm going to put them in the freezer and then I'll be able to handle them. Here are the colors we'll be using today. I'm going for a rainbow effect. Here's a piece of Glad Press and Seal Wrap. And I'm going to start with my green buttercream and I'm going to add a square to the center of my plastic wrap here. Now that I've got the green, I can add the blue and I'm going to add, try not to kind of mix it up. You want to create the layers. And there's the blue. I'm not quite going right to the edge of the green. And now the next color is the purple. And now some pink. So I'm basically creating a buttercream pyramid. Next color, orange. And now the final color, yellow. And we're just going to do a straight line of the yellow down here. And now I'm going to pick up my cylinder and connect the rainbow. Now this stuff is um, sticky, the press and seal, and so it'll attach there. I'm going to seal one end and I can kind of roll it and just shape my cylinder. And now let's prepare our piping bag. Now to pick which tip. I don't think I'm going to use one with the holes there at the end. And this is probably too fat, too thin. I'm torn between these two. I think I'm going to go for this one here. So the way that they're made, they're a little bit fatter here than there. So I'm, I've been cutting the hole just past the round. Once you've got your mark, you can cut and then you kind of have to push it through now I can drop my cylinder into my piping bag. I'm just going to cut off my plastic wrap to make sure that I can get my icing out, obviously. Now let's drop that in there. 
and it's important to push from the top to get the icing out. See it coming? There it is. So each flower will be different. This is the lid to my fun bucket. We're just going to do the first one here for you to see, okay? Now I'm resting on the surface of the lid here. The weight is on it and I'm squeezing and I'm rotating back and forth and then I stop and I lift up and I'm left with an opening right there you see so here's what the piping tip effect looks like and I'm going to show you how to achieve that all I'm doing is I'm positioning myself the center of the cupcake and I'm moving right left right left and then you stop squeezing once you're done and you just lift straight off and there you have your decoration so here is where I find the piping tip missing a little bit of something is what it leaves here it leaves like an opening that is somewhat unattractive depends you know if you're finicky I saw some people adding like caramel to it which is a cute idea but here I'm adding a buttercream button to it and that'll kind of finish it off like so and that kind of hides any imperfections you see and it is buttercream so once they bite into it and it's back to room temperature it won't hurt their teeth you see it just adds a little bit of a of a added embellishment to the cupcake and there they are getting ready for this flower now I'm using this piping tip you can see and I'm just going to pop it in there to be able to see and mark cut that buttercream all over the scissors all right now on the inside of my piping bag, I'm going to just add a bit of blue. Blue icing, just all along the outside, as you can see there. And then to the middle of that, I'm going to add some yellow. Most a lot of flower centers are yellow. Now I'm going to use the um, kind of wide gaps on this ball piping tip with the little star in the middle to show you what that does. So I'm just filling and squishing down the blue there in the middle, kind of marbling it in the bag. Don't worry about it too much. And there's the icing. All right, let's decorate these now. You can see I've got a pretty flower in the middle. I've got my piping tip, resting it on the surface of the cupcake. I'm rocking back and forth here, squeezing and rocking, squeezing and rocking, squeezing. Stop, pull up, and you're left with this hole in the center. And then I take my flower tip and I just squeeze a flower right there in the center and fill that little opening with that flower. Let's make another super easy stop, pull up. I'm left with the perfect opening and there. I have a nice little flower middle. Alright, let's get this going. Got three disposable cheap piping bags filled with different color buttercream and what I'm doing is I'm creating my pouch to pipe with my Russian tips and I'm just creating spheres in there, or cylinders I should say of buttercream now, I think I have one more pink in here. 
Now I'm just going to roll this up like so. Let's seal one end like that and I'm just going to cut the saran wrap here so that the buttercream can come out. Here is the piping tip I'm using. It's the ball one with a little bit of a scallop on the openings. Just going to cut the bag here. There we go. Now I'm going to drop my buttercream cylinder in there. And instead of layering the colors like we did before, now we've got kind of like striping in there. And let's see what that's going to create. Let's test this out now. So we're rocking our hand like before back and forth and stop and pull up. You see by marbling the icing in this way we're really getting all the colors. When we layered there was only a few that were visible. Now I've got my piping tip. I'm going to drop my buttercream cylinder in there. Now there's this ugly hole there so let's fill that up with this little flower. My icing isn't as cold as I'd like it so it's not giving me as much definition as I'd like but it does finish it off nicely. Here is a piece of saran wrap and I'm just adding my colors to that. There. Try to kind of do the order that they would be in. The last green. There we go. And I'm just going to add some white to the middle here just to have something to kind of build on. There. All right, let's roll this up. There we go. Let's close this end. And again, we have to cut here so that the icing can come out. And this time we're going to use the piping tip with a bit of a, of a swirl in it. Cutting the bag, popping in the piping tip. And now we can pick up the cylinder and drop that in there. And we have our rainbow ready to come out. Here is the cupcake. You see we have the rainbow. And all I'm doing is I'm positioning myself in the center of the cupcake and I'm doing a rocking motion. Back and forth and there. And there we have our design. So let's go again. We're rocking right to left. Stop and there. You have your rainbow. And now for the center I've added all my colors in this flower tip. You see this tip right here and I'm just finishing off the center and we have a really cute rainbow design on our cupcakes. I hope you enjoyed the product demonstration. I want to mention that the buttercream recipe does matter. You really need something that's fluffy that can hold its shape or else it'll all kind of melt together and you'll lose the effect that the piping tips create. You'll find the link to my buttercream recipe in the description box if you don't have a touch screen and you'll also find the link to purchase these piping tips in the description box as well. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you next time.